there is no coincidence. You are here because God want you to listen to this message. So commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these words of mine. Deuteronomy 11.18 We must understand what this word believe implies. It means commit and surrender. Believing is your response to God's offer of mercy, love, and forgiveness. Christ can give you power to overcome every sin and habit in your life. He can break the ropes, fetters, and chains of sin. But you must repent, confess, commit, and surrender yourself to Him first. Right now, it can be settled, and you can know the peace, joy, and fellowship of Christ. True repentance is a turning from sin, a conscious, deliberate decision to leave sin behind, and a conscious turning to God with a commitment to follow His will for our lives. It is a change of direction, an alteration of attitudes, and a yielding of the will. Jesus didn't use subtlety or gimmicks to gain followers. Rather, He honestly laid before them the tough demands of discipleship, total commitment, and total involvement. Commitment means burning all bridges behind you. There is a high price of commitment. Jesus never offered a bargain. Some of your friends won't want a person around them who lives a clean life and talks about God and reads the Bible and prays. Satan doesn't need for us to fall into gross sin in order to defeat us. A large dose of laziness will do the trick just as well. Put Christ first in your life and then commit every hour of the day to Him. Saving faith involves an act of commitment and trust, in which I commit my life to Jesus Christ and trust Him alone as my personal Savior and Lord. Saving faith is a commitment to Jesus as Savior and Lord. It is a personal and individual decision. It is more than assent to historical or theological truth given to us in God's Word. It is faith in the promises of God as the believer's only hope for eternal life. John 5.24, 1 John 5.10-11 Share this message with your ten friends if you love Jesus. God bless you.